a lesson of grade 10 today we'll try to do exercise 6.5 question number 15 16 and 17 in the same video question number 15 in an equilateral triangle ABC this is an equilateral triangle I will just take the side as X D is a point on the side BC such that BD is one third of BC since BC is X BD is one third of BC that means it will be X by 3 clear you're going to prove 9AD square equal to 7AB square so given I wrote to prove I wrote and to prove that we need one perpendicular line so we have drawn one perpendicular line AM perpendicular to BC so this is perpendicular okay this whole line is x now perpendicular line always fall in the middle in equilateral triangle so this from here to here bm will be x by 2 how to get dm up to this much is x by 2 this is x by 3 so to find dm you have to subtract this two okay so we can write it here let let a b equal to b c equal to a d a c equal to x b d is one third of b c so b d is x by 3 one third b m is in the middle so b m is x by 2 how to get dm this is x by 2 from x by 2 you'll minus this x by 2 minus x by 3 take the LCM you're getting x by 6 so dm is x by 6 now we'll use Pythagoras theorem to get the answer Let us use Pythagoras theorem in triangle A, M, B. In triangle A, M, B, the square of the hypotenuse, that is A, B square, equal to A, M square plus B, M square. Clear? A, B is X, you can put the value, X square equal to AM we don't know we're going to find BM is X by 2 BM is half of X X by 2 so I'll just change the plus AM square plus this is X square by 4 equal to X square okay I'm writing this first then I'm writing this take this one on the other side AM square equal to x square minus x square by 4 so what you are getting a m square equal to 4 x square minus x square by 4 after taking the LCM we're getting a m square is 3 x square by 4 so we got the value of a m square mark this as 1 now use Pythagoras theorem in, in this triangle in triangle a m d in triangle a M D you can write A D square equal to square of the hypotenuse equal to other two sides A M square plus D M square now put the value A M is we already got the value of A M here we can write 3 X square by 4 D M is X by 6 all square a d square equal to 3 x square by 4 plus this is x square by 36 take the LCM LCM is 36 you get 4 9 9 3 27 x square plus x square so a d square will be 28 x square by 
36 we can cancel by 4 4 7 time 4 9 time I'm doing here okay so you're getting a d square equal to 7 x square by 9 cross multiply 9 a d square equal to 7 x square so 9 a d square equal to x can be any of the side x can be this also this also this also but since we need a b 7 a b square so in place of x i can put a b so 7 a b square hence proof you can pause the video to write the proof let's go to next question this is question number 16 in an equilateral triangle prove that three times the square of one of the side is equal to four times the altitude so in an equilateral triangle am is altitude okay we're just taking and we're going to prove three times the one of the side i'm just taking ab three ab square equal to four am square we're going to prove clear so You can write let a b equal to b c equal to a c equal to x x x x okay or you can use two x also it's better to use two x as this is altitude s a m is perpendicular to b c that means this will divide s x x will become dm equal to cm equal to x now use pythagoras theorem in this triangle in triangle a m b a b square equal to a m square plus b m square put the value 2x whole square equal to am we don't know this is bm is x so we're getting 4x square equal to am square bring x square on the left side 4x square minus x square equal to am square you're getting 3x square equal to am square now since you need 4 am we'll multiply both sides by 4 so we'll write 3 4 oh sorry 4 into 3 x square equal to 4 am square you can write multiplying by 4 now this 3 you can write separate and 4x square together this is 4am square this will be 2x whole square what is 2x? 2x can be AB so AB so you got the answer yeah you can pause the video to write the proof let's go to the last question they've given that in this triangle ac is 12 ab is 6 root 3 and bc is 6 and which what will be angle b they are asking now to find this let's first let's check whether the pythagoras theorem is satisfied or not if the pythagoras theorem is satisfied this angle will be 90. so pythagoras theorem ac square equal to AB square plus BC square put the value 12 square equal to AB is 6 root 3 square plus BC is 6 square 12 square is 144 6 square is 36 into root 3 square is 3 144 equal to 108 plus 36 144 equal to 144 both sides same Pythagoras theorem is satisfied. That means the angle will be right angles, 90 degree.
clear you can pause the video to write all the proof thank you